Dude, this is awesome. Is that the favorite shoes right here? I like it, I like it. <laughs> One of my babies. Before we move on, Go ahead and smash that red subscribe button so you can catch up on more videos like this one in the future. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to our channel. Patrick Mahomes has been making headlines ever since he joined the NFL. He has worked hard to build a career that he's now proud of. That being said, understandably, he's included among the highest paid athletes in the world. His net worth is estimated to be around $11 million and his salary for the 2019 season stands at $650,000. So where does he spend all his money, you ask? Let's find out the stupidly expensive things that Patrick Mahomes owns. Number 5. A Big Beautiful Home in Kansas City We'd occasionally caught glimpses of his new house, but when we look at it in detail now, we can see why he chose this particular house over all the others. It's well built, situated in a nice and peaceful area, and is priced quite reasonably for a house of its grandeur. Him and his wife had decided to say yes to this house back in 2019 and bought it at the price of $1,900,000. This is an impressive deal when you consider the house's interior, but it's still a large amount of money. He'll also have to pay an approximate of $25,000 a year in property taxes, but that may not be such a big deal for him when we take into account his annual earnings. Over the years, he's come to love Kansas, which explains his decision to stay and settle down. The house built in 1953 is set on a 1.4 acre ground. Aside from that, it has an outdoor patio and a swimming pool as well. As their proud owner of dogs, the big backyard was a given for the house. With a great amount of open space, they'd be able to fully enjoy the weather of Kansas, Missouri. Moving inside the house, we have three bedrooms and three bathrooms, a custom-built kitchen with a center island and a built-in stove. The overall house follows a Marvin-themed interior with floor-to-ceiling windows and a cozy fireplace as well. The house also has a well-equipped gym, to keep Patrick in shape, we could assume. Despite it being expensive, we could say that the money they spent on it was completely worth it. And if things go according to plan, they might be living in the same house for the next few years to come. Number four, a huge shoe closet. He's a very significant part of the NFL and being on the football team means he must always have the best shoes at hand and he does have an extensive collection of shoes at home apart from the professional sports shoes he usually wears and he also owns expensive casual shoes. To house his 180 pairs of shoes, he, of course, needed properly built shelves to store and showcase them. That's why he decided to invest in a huge shoe closet. This would maintain order in his collection and it would bring the shoes more value as well when they would be openly exhibited for him to choose from. He also disclosed to us what his favorite pair of shoes are. Shoes he calls his babies. They are the Yeezy Triple Black 750s. One of the other favorites that he highlighted and talked about was the Game of Thrones Nightwatch Ultra Boost. Being a big Game of Thrones fan, this came to no one's surprise. And some of the others he mentioned were Babes, Future Crafts, Pharrell NMDs. Every one of these shoes is expensive and built into an even more expensive space. These 180 pairs of shoes are something he wanted for so many years. He estimated that he narrowed them down to 180 so he could wear each pair twice every year. We could obviously tell that he's very proud of his collection. Number 3. 2019 Genesis G70 Luxury Sedan among the few of the cars he owns, there's one that he didn't buy but wanted. The 2019 Genesis G70 Luxury Sedan was awarded to him as a prize for NFL Pro Bowl and VP title. And this was a big achievement for him, as before him, the quarterback Tom Brady was the last one to win a Chevy Colorado. Some people compare it to Kia, but it is lighter and more intricately designed and well executed than Kia. It has the speed of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds and a top speed of around 170 miles per hour. The engine in this is turbocharged and intercooled DOHC 16 valve 2.0 liter inline 4 252 or 255 horsepower 216 pound foot turbocharged and intercooled DOHC 24 valve 3.3 liter 
V6, 365 horsepower, 376 pound foot. This is a very impressive car that's priced around $35,000 to $37,000. Needless to say, he's got a pretty expensive car sitting in his garage. Number two, partnership with a private jet company. Patrick Mahomes has to spend a lot of his time playing on the field, which leaves a very small amount of time for him to spend with his wife and relax and those few precious hours he wanted to protect. That's why he thought to partner up with a private jet company called Air to Share. This way, he'd be able to travel from his home to his games with absolutely no delay, saving him time to do other things as well. For him, he always said that flying commercial was a hassle. To be able to fill the airport formalities takes time and effort, and all he has to do after he owned his own jet was to simply drive towards it and then simply board it. The jet would have enough space for him, his wife, and even his two enormous dogs would feel at home. When he last talked about his jet, he mentioned that he had flown for about 40 days with them, and during that time, the pilots had been very supportive and he had effectively been able to manage his schedule. This must have been quite an investment, but he claims that it brings order in his life than every single dollar he put into it. Number 1. The Ferrari A12 Superfast It's known to be the most powerful and fastest roadworthy Ferrari ever built. With a V12 engine that holds up to 788 horsepower, it can reach up to more than 62 miles per hour in less than 3 seconds and it comes with an astounding speed of 211 miles per hour. Patrick might have a very large collection of cars, but I have a feeling this might be one of his favorites. With that much speed and distance coverage, the cars manage to look stunning and sleek. There's absolutely no reason why this wouldn't be one of his favorites. But this prized possession of his didn't come at a very cheap price. At this current moment, this car is placed at the price of around $330,000 in the market. So I think it would be safe to say that it's one of the most expensive things he owns. But no worries for him, because from his annual earnings, he could buy many more of the same Ferraris if he wanted to. Though his expensive possessions are not an exact representation of how much success he's made, it tells you how hard he's worked to get to where he is to have what he's achieved. And we're expected to see him prosper more as time goes on. That about wraps up this video which we hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't hesitate to smash that like button and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Also, while you're here, go ahead and give those other two videos on your screen a look. And with that, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.